Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my top perfume picks for bedtime and there are a lot to go over. If you want to get right into the perfume list, go ahead and go to this timestamp right here. But other than that, I just kind of wanted to go over some stuff. So first off, <laughs> if you are seeing, yes, I have absolutely no makeup on. So today I wanted to do a very easy video because I do have uh, people coming to start on our popcorn. So we are like taking down our popcorn and it's going to be a mess for the next week. And it's gonna make it a little difficult for me to film, but there are videos that I have on my list. Karen, your Delina video is coming, I promise. Some people have asked me to do comparison videos as well as I just wanna follow up on a lot of like my various hauls. So I got up this morning and you know, I did my skincare routine, put my lip balm on, and then I was getting ready to put on my foundation and just light makeup and I'm like, you know what? This is what I wake up like. I did touch up my hair, but this is my face. I cleaned it. So you are gonna get me fresh face and all, no brows, no mascara, no foundation. This is me, but I figured, you know, bedtime, let's be a little more casual. So I do test out a lot of my perfumes where I come home from work and I take a shower and then, you know, I put on my lotion and then I start to test perfumes the night before just because I've been caught at work with a perfume that I don't like. So this is like my new way of testing out perfumes. I don't test out new scents all the time. When I am not testing out perfumes, I do like to, you know, get out of the shower and spray something on. I used to have more like body splashes and Victoria's Secret perfumes. But now since collecting about a couple years ago, I have gotten into wearing more like lighter perfume scents to bed. Now all of these are affordable. I do tend to wear my, my celebrity scents, my more affordable scents, just because I come home and it's the evening and I like to smell good, but then at the same time, I don't wanna wear anything heavy or anything expensive to bed. I like to smell pretty with a more affordable scent. So these are all affordable scents and then most of these are celebrity perfumes. Now, that doesn't mean I don't wear them other than to bed, some strictly are, but I also will wear uh, these if I know I'm gonna wear them the next day. I'm gonna go buy Perfume House because there are a lot of scents. And then I'm gonna go over a quick haul at the end because I do feel like these are gonna fall in this relaxing bedtime kind of categories. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go over this house because I've been mentioning them recently. I am going to talk about Ariana Grande. And I know that I've mentioned her in my last few videos. I really do enjoy the Ariana Grande celebrity perfumes. They are just great, affordable, long lasting perfumes. I would say the perfumes in these flankers, you get about six to eight hours. Now, both of these are limited edition. You can really only find the red at Amazon and you can find Frankie at Kohl's. But I wanted to mention them because they are perfumes that I do wear to sleep. But the Sweet Like Candy Red is very similar to the original Sweet Like Candy, which I also wear to bed, but I only have like a little roller ball of that one. And then we have Moonlight and then the original Ari. And these are just really pretty fruity florals. They're sweet. They are a little different. You know, we have the original Ari. This one reminds me of like your Viva La Juicy. It's just a very bright, sweet floral. Then you have the two sweet like candies and these are more of your sweet marshmallow light scents. These have more of a muskiness to them, which in my opinion makes them a little more mature. Now, when I say mature, I'm not saying that these are mature scents. I'm just saying that these are a little more youthful. All ages can wear them, but they are a little bit more youthful in my opinion. And then these are a little bit more, they're just less juvenile in my opinion. Okay, and then this last one I'm gonna mention from Ariana Grande is my favorite. It's also a scent that I wear not only to bed, but I wear this scent all the time. This is a perfect year round, all the time scent, but this one, I especially love to wear to bed when I know I'm gonna wear this the next day because this one lasts well into the next day. I can definitely smell this when I get up the next day. I don't find this to be juvenile, but I also don't find this to be mature. This is just an all ages versatile scent. My beautiful subscriber, it's MJ. Me and her, you know, had a conversation, which I love. I love when you guys comment 
and we talked perfume talk she said that this is a versatile set and yes she is correct i did say that in my first ariana grande one that this one isn't like juvenile or anything like that so i did want to clear that up thank you mj she also has a channel here on youtube and she does really good reviews i will have her channel link down below this isn't like those flankers this is more instead of a fruity floral i would say this is a fruity creamy clean scent a lot of people compare this to baccarat rouge 540 i've never smelled that one so i couldn't tell you but i think it's the lavender in here that instead of making it like your typical sweet like fruity scent it's sweet fruity with like a clean soapiness to it which i think is the lavender in here which is is beautiful it's a very beautiful unique scent it is becoming very popular for good reason again it's super pretty i really love this scent for sleepy time i, I always say this is like an airy scent so this is probably a, a favorite of mine this one's ariana grande's cloud okay and then next up we're gonna talk about some jessica simpson so i really enjoy these scents for bedtime this one i enjoy not only for bedtime but for fall this one is more strictly for bedtime because this one and this is one i probably won't keep in my collection once it's gone i do enjoy it but it when i smell this it gives me like like those orange cream popsicle vibes which is okay for sleep but not something i like on an everyday basis so this is fancy love by jessica simpson but it's one that i probably wouldn't add back into my collection but fancy i do really enjoy this one is just fruity warm cozy vanilla scent i think there's also caramel in here and it's just very cozy i really like this one for fall especially like uh cooler months um, it's just a warm cuddle under the covers watch tv type of set okay the next up we have some aqualina and we have aqualina's pink sugar and gold sugar so pink sugar is a more of a this is a, a like a very sweet candy scent and from the bottle it's not bright but when you spray it it's a little more bright and these are just not heavy scents i do like gold sugar more i'm a gold sugar girl this one is Sweet, vanilla, creamy, milky, with like a little citrus zest in it. So again, these are just really pretty bedtime and they're not expensive. And both of these have really great staying power. So these are scents that I do smell more the next day, I will say. Next up, we have Senorina by Salvatore Ferragamo. Senorina, the original, this is going to be a scent that I'm really going to enjoy for spring. I don't wear this one as much to sleep just because I do want to enjoy this one in the springtime. But sometimes when I want a very bubbly, light, crisp, rosy scent i like this one there's a pink pepper note that i really like in this one that is also i believe in lancome's eat all that i just love for springtime so i know i'm really gonna enjoy this for spring but there are times when i want this scent for bedtime because it's just a very happy pretty scent and this is senorina's the original and then senorina misteriosa this is just a sweet gourmand i i do get the original in here but this is a deeper more mysterious like the name would imply version of it and a little more gourmand in my opinion both of these are really pretty you can find these online for under 40 but you can find them at tj maxx for an even more affordable price Next, we have some Britney Spears. Now, I did recently get her set that came with her, like, popular in the four. And they were very popular when I was in my 20s. So, I do like these for sleep, but these have been around for so long that I prefer the Ariana Grande um, line over these. So, I did test these out because I did want to do, like, a Britney Spears video on these. And, again, these are great affordable scents. If you like, you know, fruity florals and girly scents, these are very, very pretty. They're like 14, 15 bucks. These are inexpensive. But I did want to mention them because I did test these out for bedtime. And I think these are nice 
bedtime scents but I'm actually passing on these. This one I gotta test out a little bit more before I decide if I'm gonna pass it on. But these two, I'm gonna pass on because these two are just, again, they're just perfumes that I've smelled before. This one's more of a, a tropical fruity floral and this one is more of a sweet fruity floral. So like this one's a little more bright and this one's a little more night. <laughs> So I would say these two I I like more. I'm still on the fence with this one. This is Curious. This one is more of a fresh fruity. But this one does come off a little alcohol when I spray it on me. That's why I'm not sure if I'll keep it. I'm still testing this one out. I do like Britney Spears' Private Show. This is more of a like of an affordable coffee set. This one is more sweet, vanilla, coffee, with like a fruity opening. But then it dries down. I would say it's one of my coffee scents that's not as strong as like say Sophia Love or Black Opium and The Only One by Dolce & Gabbana. Which is why I like this one for bed. It's not heavy. It opens up fruity and then it has like a vanilla coffee on the dry down. So this is Private Show. So last we have some Sarah Jessica Parker and we have Born Lovely and then Lovely. I prefer Born Lovely for bed just because I absolutely love Lovely for work. So I tend to wear Lovely when I know I'm gonna wear it for work the next day. This is Narciso Rodriguez but not as strong. So if Narciso Rodriguez was a little too much for you, a little too musk, I would definitely say pick up Lovely. This is a lighter, but still projects very well. I've gotten compliments on this one. It's just to me a more wearable version of Narciso Rodriguez. I love Narciso Rodriguez. That was actually the scent I wore on my wedding day. My husband really likes that scent as well. But this is such a lovely scent. The name for this is perfect. It describes this scent completely. This is a lovely floral light musk scent. I would say the musk in here isn't as overpowering. And because of that, I feel like this one's a little cleaner just because the musk isn't too overpowering. So this is a much cleaner scent in my opinion. There are days when I do prefer this one over my Narciso Rodriguez. My Narciso Rodriguez is not for everyone but this one's absolutely lovely and then we have born lovely and born lovely is less musky in my opinion this is a clean citrusy version it's just it's light it's a it's a lighter version of lovely even though i i, I describe lovely as light it's lighter than my narciso rodriguez okay so that will do it for my sense that i like for bed Next, we're gonna do just a quick haul. So this little haul here was when I got my first 20% off coupon at Ulta that you could also use Prestige fragrances on. And then another 20% off coupon came out after that and I had just hit my points where I had like $155 to spend. So I will do that haul separately. I'm waiting for my Sephora points to come in so then I can buy some perfume using that. I have $100 to spend as well as at my job, I'm trying to get this $25 Amazon gift card so I can get a Sephora gift card with it. And that's how I shop, like everything is points so I can buy these perfumes to review them at an affordable cost to me. This haul I wanted to get on here and do just because I do feel like these are going to be amazing bedtime scents as well as like relaxing scents because I do tend to categorize bedtime with like Maybe I'm gonna be home all day or relaxing. These are the scents that I go for. They are inoffensive, they're light in my opinion. They're not anything like too heavy. So let's go ahead and get into the haul now. So I did haul this, all the juice. This was on sale for, I wanna say 20 bucks. And then with 20% off, it came up to $16 for four little travels. I thought this was a great way to try the brand out. These are also, like when I smelled them at Ulta, they're more of your fruity, like celebrity scents in my opinion. And it comes in this cute little package. Do you think this is like by Cosmopolitan? Yeah, served by Cosmopolitan. And it comes with all the juice. I guess this is the original. And then it comes with 100% chilled and this little blue. And then it comes with love unfiltered and it's this uh, red and 
white and these all come in these little cute juice boxes so i'll put the juice boxes as i mentioned them and then this is pure sugar so i think this is just going to be really pretty fruity sweet scents so i will definitely follow this lineup in a later video and again this is just the other juice all right so then next up i picked up some philosophy I have been wanting to try philosophy because I think I am the only person in this world that's never tried Amazing Grace. But I guess because of the plain packaging, I just never really got into it because you guys know I like packaging. But now that I, you know, collect perfumes, I know that these are very beautiful skin scents. I did want to mention that I do hear people say that philosophy is a scent that doesn't last, but then some people say that even though you can't smell it anymore, it's definitely a skin scent, meaning it kind of disappears, but other people still smell it on you. So I did see this set. These came just in a plastic sealed bag, but it came with four philosophy scents for $44. And again, I got 20% off. So I thought that was a really good way to try out the line. So it came with Amazing Grace, Amazing Grace Ballet Rose, Pure Grace, and then Pure Grace Nude Rose. I did spray these already, and so far they are very airy, very clean scents. I think these are gonna be great scents, again, for bedtime, or just like going shopping, running errands. Another set that I saw was this Fresh Cream set, and this one was $24, and this came with Fresh Cream, the lotion, and then Fresh Cream, like the roller ball, and then Fresh cream warm cashmere the half ounce the 15 mil i just thought that was a great way to try out the brand to see if there's any like gems in here and again these are 15 mils these are half ounce bottles we'll go ahead and open amazing grace because this is like their top seller and i figured if i like amazing grace maybe i would try out the eau de parfum because i hear that that one lasts longer than the eau de toilette these are all eau de toilette and yeah this is just a very beautiful clean like citrusy scent i think this is gonna be really pretty for spring i got about one more haul coming and that is what i got with my ulta points as well as what i got with my sephora points so i did already get my ulta perfumes i'm waiting on my sephora perfumes once i do that haul i want to do a lot of follow-up videos i want to do like a philosophy review and i want to do more videos like that and really enjoy these. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop hauling. I'm just getting more into like half ounce and travel sprays because I, I feel like I'll get through those. So that is my, what I like to wear for bedtime slash just hanging out at the house. Perfumes, let me know what you like to wear to bed or maybe what you like to just wear when you're just kind of bumming around the house. I know some people don't like to wear scents to bed. So let me know in the comments below. Do you own any of these? And that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload. And until next time, guys, bye.